What is going on everyone? How are you doing? I hope you're doing good because it is good to feel good. Yes it is. And today I want to do a video talking about one of my biggest influences in life. Now when I mean one of my biggest influences I don't mean say like a celebrity or a YouTuber or a well-known famous person. Um, it's actually um, a member of my family and Rather unfortunately, today is actually five years ago to the day since he passed away. It's very mad to think about because, you know, it's just time's gone so quickly since then. But today I want to talk about my late granddad, George Elgar, and why he's been such a big influence on my life. Just quickly, I want to start off by saying it's just mad how five years has gone so quickly. Like, I just remember the last time that I saw him was around the time of my 16th birthday. And him and my nana came down for basically like an early Christmas dinner, essentially. And, you know, it was very nice to catch up with them. And, you know, it was very nice to see him, especially because in the final few years of his life, he had Alzheimer's. And so it was just nice to see him and know that, you know, he was still able to, you know, know me, know my brother, know my mum, my dad, just, and, and everyone around him, basically. But, you know, it was just nice to see him. And that was the last time that I saw him. And then I remember a, a few months later, um, when he was on holiday in Spain with my nana, he took a ride of a nasty bump and then he fell into a coma and then he never came out. And I remember getting the call from my mum who'd, who'd flown over just a day before he died over to Spain to just, you know, go check up on him, you know, um, take care of my nana as well. And I remember it was me, my dad and my brother and we got the phone call to hear that he passed away and oh it really really hit me hard because knowing what he'd done in life you know it left a big impact on me and you know he's he was just an amazing person and it's just so sad but you know it just hit me hard like when it happened and I just remember the time I remember taking quite a few days off school just you know not get over it, but, you know, just have some time to myself because, again, really, it really hit me hard knowing that he died. One of the reasons why I talk about him being a big influence on my life is just, you know, what he went through in life and, you know, what he did as well. Um, I mean, basically, he, he he's a bit like me in a way, like, um, well, I mean, wh when I say like me, you know, he got bullied quite a fair bit when he was younger and I suffered a fair share of bullying as well. But also knowing that he had a disability because he only had one one hand, um, basically his right hand um, didn't develop at birth and so yeah, he was basically, he basically lived life with just the one hand and just this little stump basically. So to me, I felt like he was quite a big, you know, pioneer for those with disabilities because, you know, even though, you know, he might not have an extra, uh, both two hands, you know, he's still able to do things that, you know, anyone could do in life. And, you know, he just, he, he went on despite, despite that, which I think is very admirable and very courageous in a way. Like, you know, he may not have this extra hand, but you know, he's still, he's still able to do what he can do. But one of the reasons why I think he's the biggest influences on me is that he got me into like my love of cameras essentially. So I remember talking about this in a video when I was in San Francisco last year, when I talked about my camera tattoo, I mentioned in that video that one of the, one of the meanings and like representations behind the tattoo is that it represents my love of cameras growing up and that love of cameras basically came from my grander and what he would always do is he would like you know around family or friends he would usually you know film a lot of bits and then he would all edit it down and um, you know put it onto VHS tapes and who remembers VHS tapes because 
they were the real deal back then. But yeah, so he would always, you know, edit it all down, put it onto VHS tapes, and we'd all get around to watching it. I think, actually, now that I come to mention it, he was there when I was born. I, re I remember a few years ago watching it back and thinking to myself, oh, I, <laughs> I can now finally look for myself and see, like, what happened around the time I was born. I was born at 9.57 in the morning and that was on November 19th, 1996. And watching that back and, you know, just like everyone being around me when I was born, it just it felt nice. And like, and also like say when we go on holiday, um, especially the few times when we go to Spain, I remember like him and my nana would always be there first and then um, us, us four, so me and my mum, my brother and my dad, We'd all go out there and, you know, meet up with them. And I remember most of the times we'd go around to celebrate my mum's birthday. And also we'd just, you know, go around and just explore um, around the area. We stayed in Benidorm pretty much all the times we'd gone to Spain. And that's, it's a very nice place, Benidorm, by the way. And I remember, I remember being there a few years ago as well. And I can always remember the first time we went there. That was 2001, which is pretty mad. And you know we got up to quite a fair bit. Um, I remember we went bowling one night, and I remember because it was my first time bowling. I remember just putting it down on the line and just pushing it like that, and obviously not knowing the rules of the game and like how how to bowl essentially. But yeah, it was pretty funny looking back at that. And then also I remember we went to a place called Mundamar, which is essentially a sea life centre, and it's very very entertaining there. I can always remember. Um, for example, seeing the dolphins or seeing the sea lions, it's just it's just so cool and like always always brings back fun memories. A lot of the time when my granda's been there, you know, filming from his perspective, it feels like a little bit of an influence for say when I'd be vlogging. Like so say obviously because obviously when you're vlogging you're doing it from your own perspective and and just seeing that and seeing what he would record and then transitioning it over to what I would be doing is that's where one of my biggest influences comes from so so yeah so essentially he is the biggest influence when it comes to you know uh, me filming with cameras or taking pictures and stuff and just, it's just he's he was an incredible guy he was and again it's really sad to know that he's no longer with us but you know, he's there in spirit, essentially. Like, you know, he's looking, he's up there right now thinking, thinking about us, thinking about me, thinking about my mum, my nana, what she's going through at the moment. And it's just nice to know that he's had this influence on me and seeing it still play out here on YouTube is just, it's such a nice thing. Like always, always remember him for the fact that he basically got me into filming and that's kind of where me on YouTube is, and it's just, it's just nice that he's been that influence. And yeah, he was just such a great person, and yeah, it's still pretty sad knowing that he's no longer with us, but at least he's with us in spirit, essentially. So yeah, thank you very much, Granda, George. And funnily enough, I forgot to mention this, but my middle name is George, and you know that's taken from my granda George Elgar so yeah I kind of carry the legacy of his name through my middle name essentially and yeah he was just again a very great guy and if he was still with us you know it'd be very nice to see him again maybe one day I'll see him again and yeah so anyway thank you very much for watching I'll see you around with some more videos. Hi guys, this is a little side note from the video, but I've got some really good news about my Nana, and that is that I found out today that her surgery was successful and, and she's cancer free, which is just, it's incredible news and I'm really over the moon about it. So I, I cannot be any happier. So me, my mum, my dad, my brother, we're all very happy about the news and it's just, just, it's just brilliant it is just to know that you know she's she's all healthy again obviously now for her it's the road to recovery and for me I will continue to do my support for um, can people with cancer I'm still raising money for the Christie Foundation and 
I hope, again, we can raise a lot of money for the Christie Foundation because while I feel like, you know, there's a lot of people in the world who have cancer, I still want to do my part and, you know, raise funds to help people with cancer. So, as I say, my Just Giving page is in the description, so if you want to donate anything, please feel free to. So yeah, that's awesome. it's just awesome news it is about her. So anyway, that's the end of the video now. Thank you very much for watching, and like, comment, subscribe, and share the love. See ya!